Hello there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now Xiaomi has just announced three years of Android system updates and four years of security updates. Is that a big thing? Is it important? Well, I think it is. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. So the details are that uh, the Mi 11T and the Mi 11T Pro are set to be announced in the next few days. And before the announcement, Xiaomi has actually said that those devices will receive three Android system updates and four years of uh, Android security patches. Well, what does that mean? Well, it's assuming it gets launched in the next few days. That means it's probably gonna come with Android 11. That means you'll then see an upgrade to Android 12, Android 13, Android 14, maybe, and anyway, four years of uh, security updates. So that's absolutely brilliant. Now, why is that brilliant? That's because Xiaomi is now the number one uh, smartphone vendor. So according to some analysts, it has actually surpassed Apple in terms of the number of actual handsets sold, and it has also surpassed Samsung in terms of the actual number of handsets sold. So it's really important that the number one Android smartphone seller actually has a decent update policy. There is a negative side, however, and that is that this announcement only applies at the moment to the 11T and the 11T Pro. Now, they did mention, uh, Xiaomi did mention in its press release, in its blog, that it would look about extending it to existing devices. However, absolutely no promises whatsoever. However, we hope that going forward, at least the flagship devices will have this kind of update and maybe they'll actually make that filter down to newer devices across the whole range starting from kind of you know 2021 2022 let's hope that's what happens because as the number one seller of android smartphones it's really important it sets an example of how android updates should be done now of course android updates has been a nightmare for absolutely years now, Samsung, thankfully, have a good update policy, and they have already said that any phone made in 2019, most of the phones made in 2019 onwards will get four years of security updates, and anything from 2020 will get the same three years worth of Android system updates, and then four years of security updates. So Samsung are leading the way in the uh, update game, and Google have a very, very strong update uh, policy as well. So it offers three years of Android updates and of security updates on all of its Pixel phones. That means if you had a Pixel 3 that came out now in 2018, then it will start to lose updates from October of this year, 2021. Of course, the gold standard has been Apple's iPhone, and even now the iPhone 6S, which came out in 2015, uh, supports iOS 14, and it will support iOS 15. So that's looking at six plus years worth of support coming there from Apple. Now you may be wondering why all this problem with updates. You can update, you know, Windows uh, and Linux on your PC, except for Windows 11, but we'll ignore that uh, really, really easily. And, and you know, you can have a PC back from 10 years ago, and it will update. And that's of course because PCs have a kind of a history, a legacy of compatibility. To be called a PC, really, that came back from the original idea of the IBM PC. Then you had the IBM PS2, and there have been various other standards along the way that say this is what a PC looks like. Like it's got this, and it's got this, and it's got this, and you'll find things at this address. And the, the idea of how it's put together is basically the same, which is why you can run uh, any kind of software on it. You can kind of stick a graphics card in it from whoever you choose to buy it from. You can stick in hard drives from whoever you choose to buy them from, and it kind of all works because of this idea of this rough plan of compatibility that doesn't exist in the embedded world, which is kind of what Android devices are. Uh, where the kind of uh, the uh, each device has really its own custom piece of firmware, not each uh, range, but each device. So each model, you know, if you've got a Galaxy S21, it's got a, a particular firmware on it, and that firmware is not will not run on a Xiaomi or or, or on any other kind of uh, make that you you choose to buy. It's specifically for that device, and so therefore the vendors. They literally go through this process of taking the Android source code, they take the Linux source code, then they modify it and they merge things in and they cherry pick the features they want and they add it all together. And in the end, you get this bespoke custom hardware. In fact, Google say that up to 50% of the Linux kernel code running on any particular device will not be found in the standard Linux kernel tree. 
Now, Google has been trying really hard to kind of unite the whole Android ecosystem, starting back a few years ago with Project Treble, with Android Oreo, this idea of kind of making certain components much more standard so they can easily be replaced. And in fact, they now have the generic kernel image project, which allows a generic kernel to be built where all of the stuff that's needed by the SOC is no longer in the main tree. It becomes a loadable module, which of course, logically, if you know anything about how Linux works, that is how it should be. And that means that some devices shipping with Android 12 and the Linux kernel 5.10 will actually be able to just have kernels put in, replaced directly from Google. They'll be signed, they'll be secure, and that will be supported for many, many years. In fact, uh, I think that uh, 5.10 on the Linux kernel is supported until December 2026, and that will be able to be replaced regardless of what the vendor's doing with all the other stuff. So that's a really, really positive step forward. So buying a smartphone from a vendor that offers multiple year security updates and multiple year Android system updates is important. In fact, a recent poll by Android Authority just shows how important that is in consumers' minds. Now, this move by Xiaomi is a great thing. It's only applying to the 11T and 11T Pro at the moment. However, let's hope that sets a standard for its update policy going forward because now it has a position of number one, it really does need to lead the way. Okay, that's it. My name is Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter at Gary Explains and also have a newsletter. Go over to GaryExplains.com, type in your email address, no spam, just the newsletter, and I think you'll enjoy it. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.